Today I got a first hand look at a new project called DC3 that's about to take off. It, it's a little bit chilly and that's kind of the point is that you know too many times too many weather guys aren't outside in the elements at all. That inflow of warm moist air you'd have that cooler drier air coming in from the north and northwest. This area here will see the most damaging thunderstorms late tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures have cooled a little bit from where we were early this afternoon. So a compilation of the forecast models that simulate the atmosphere versus what was in your head when you left the station to getting there. The damage assessment from what you can see is it worse than you thought? Is it better? than you thought. We like to say is put as many walls between you and the outside as you possibly can. And basically, <laughs> it, we hear these rumors all the time. If you live at the forks of rivers, nothing can hit you. If you're in a big city, nothing can hit you. The project is known as DC3, the Deep Convective Cloud and Chemistry Project. Keeper of the Plains is lit up in Wichita, always a great sight. It's muggy tonight, 77 right now in the air capital. Dew points. Now, your pinpoint weather forecast. Kicking off the first day of May, a little warm across Kansas. It's going to get even warmer, though, over the next couple of days. Big question is, are we going to see any thunderstorms over the next couple of days? We'll answer all those questions here in just a couple of seconds. First off, though, starting you out with the Wichita Almanac numbers for today. Official high of 83. That's shy of the record of 91 from 1968. And we reset the rain gauge today since it's the first of the month. So, so far, no rainfall in the gauge that may change though by the end of the week. Let's take a look at high temperatures that we had across the state today. Pretty much everybody in Kansas into the 80s at least. The exception was liberal topping out at 91 this afternoon. I think more 90s are on their forecast for tomorrow and the next couple of days. So prepare yourself for at least a hot start to the month of May. Even here at the nine o'clock hour, it is still plenty warm across Kansas. We have a lot of 70 degree readings on our map here tonight and a couple of 60s here and there as well. We'll check in closer in Wichita right now. We're at 75. The dew point is at 68. So that humidity is sitting at 79%. It is a little bit muggy outside. Our wind is out of the south at 14 miles per hour. Take you to the western part of our state. Dodge City checks in with 71 this hour. Dew point at 61. So the humidity is sitting at 70% a southeast wind at just 8 miles per hour. I do want to show you those dew points across Kansas and keep in mind when you're in the mid 50s, the upper 50s, 60s, especially and the 70s, that's some pretty thick muggy air. Notice though a big difference in western Kansas dew points only in the 40s for Goodland and in Liberal. Meantime, you're pushing 70 in central Kansas. So again, that's kind of some sticky air and that's going to stick around for the next couple of days. Windy as well. Winds out of the south tonight at around 15 to 20 miles an hour in central Kansas. More southeast winds at around 10 to 15 in the western part of the state. And by the way, tomorrow is going to be a windy afternoon. Here's our radar picture in case you're wondering where the action is tonight. It's all to our north and to our east. A lot of showers and thunderstorms from parts of Minnesota all the way down through Iowa and Nebraska and then a secondary area kind of in the Ohio Valley area pushing more to the east tonight. Nothing in Kansas and I think overall tomorrow many of us will stay on the quiet side, although one area could see a few showers and storms. Let's take you back last night this time and show you the big complex that was going on in South Central Kansas. Watch the loop over 24 hour time frame that made its way out of the state. Clouds filled in here and there late this afternoon and now tonight all the big activity is well off to our north and northeast. I think the biggest concern that we'll have tonight is just increasing cloud cover into tomorrow morning and then tomorrow a lot of us will have the wind and the heat to deal with. Here's our storm projector by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning showing a few clouds here and there. By midday tomorrow, things may thicken up a little bit in central and eastern Kansas. Meantime, a sunny sky for the west. By tomorrow afternoon, though, lots of sunshine out there. That could lead to a few thunderstorms trying to pop up in northwest Kansas tomorrow. And I think we'll see another round of activity in Nebraska, which may nudge its way into northern Kansas overnight tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. So that's why I say most of us should stay dry tomorrow. It's the far northern part of the state that may see a couple of thunderstorms late in the day tomorrow. And again, it is going to be windy for tomorrow afternoon. Your custom forecast statewide for tonight. Temperatures very mild in the 50s and the 60s for overnight lows under a partly cloudy sky. Tomorrow, sunshine clouds mixing here and there in some areas. But look at the temperatures, upper 80s to the low 90s and the winds. They're going to be up there tomorrow, anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour and gusty. And of course, 
Stray thunderstorm possible northwest Kansas by the end of the afternoon. It's going to stay warm for a while. Here are all those details in your Wichita Weekly. I think 88 is a great number to stand by for the next couple of days. It's a very popular number in the seven day forecast. As we head toward the weekend, things may cool just a little bit and we introduce a chance for more showers and thunderstorms in south central Kansas beginning Sunday night and then running into Monday and Tuesday. For north central Kansas, you may see a stray shower or thunderstorm late tomorrow and perhaps again on Thursday. I think you're dry the next couple of days, but certainly warm, then cooler with a chance of showers and thunderstorms Sunday and Monday. Southwest Kansas, 90s in the forecast for you for the next few days. A few showers and thunderstorms coming to play late Sunday and running all the way from Monday into Tuesday. And it's the same thing for the northwest part of our state. Little unsettled weather patterns, so high temperatures in the 90s. Windy tomorrow, a chance of a few showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and again on Thursday. Then more chances for showers and thunderstorms returning Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Congratulations goes out tonight to Barbara Ruda of Hutchinson Fox Kansas weather umbrella winner. Barbara, you can stop by and pick up your prize at the Fox Kansas studios on the west side of town. If anybody else wants to register to win, all you have to do is go to foxkansas.com. You mentioned the dew points earlier and yes. that makes sense because it was yes. a muggy it one out there It feels very today. muggy in the morning hours and the afternoon. So yeah, sticky. Thick from, air makes yeah. it hard to breathe. I know. Trust me. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Yeah. Hail close to softball size hail is certainly not out of the question tomorrow and a few of those storms may produce some long lived tornadoes. I would watch this closely southwest of Goddard again for the possibility of rotation. Just watch just when I see the, the little mini cup of there that always piques my interest and piques my attention. I know the weather service is watching things very, very closely, but it lines up pretty well with the southwest flank of this storm. May be getting a little bit of inflow in that one as well, but we still continue with two active tornado warnings right now. One includes the entire city of Wichita at this point in time. Again, it includes the entire city of Wichita. Mark had me some hailstones here. These are larger than quarter size. I mean, if we can hold it up for you there, that's pretty good size hail that's falling here in downtown Wichita right now. JD Rudd joins us now. I know you can fill us in with the technical yeah, th aspects this there. This is one of the stronger tornadoes that we actually had on the ground in Kansas. I'll, I'll run down some of these later on here this evening, but this one was rated an EF4 in the Saline County area, so a very violent tornado in this area, Katie. What's going on in Wichita and Sedgwick County at this point in time, as you talked about earlier, Katie, we're seeing some of these storms producing some larger size hail. So far tonight, the largest hail report earlier was of golf ball size hail reported just south and southeast of the Mays area.